Yo, what's going on everybody? Every one person that's joined, how's it going? What's going on? Glad I have one person watching at least. <laughs> So yeah, man, just doing some drawing today. I guess I'll give it a minute for some folks to show up. I'll just start drawing. I guess I can at least figure out the proportions of this. So maybe the top there, the bottom here. So now just need to find out the width of this. Hey folks, how's it going? Gita, Zia, what's happening? Hello, hi, where's everybody from? If you don't mind saying, of course. I'm just measuring real quickly here. So it looks like the width Hmm, okay, that's going to be tricky. Actually, no, it won't. It won't be tricky. Um, hey, how's it going, everybody? Glad to see everybody showing up. For some reason, the numbers on my streaming thing, usually it tells me how many viewers are actually, like, there. It still only says there's one viewer. So, oh, well, that's unfortunate. That same thing happened last night, too. I didn't have, it looked like only 11 people were watching the whole time. But usually I get about 30 or 40, depending on what I do. So, huh, I don't know what the deal is. Oh, well, doesn't matter. All right, from Morocco. Cool. I would love to go to Morocco one day. Ooh, Dhaka, Bangladesh. That's the most uh, populated city or town on earth, right? Dhaka. It's pretty dense from what I've heard. Um, thanks for joining. Glad, glad you're here. Hopefully this will be interesting for you. Somebody from Jamaica, Ireland. It's cool. Okay, so the width of this thing is, there's two of it to that. So half of this, wherever the half mark is, I can just kind of check that. Pretty close to there. Okay, so it needs to come down slightly. No, it doesn't. It needs to go. Okay, the halfway mark is like right there. Okay, no, it's not for some reason. So if I make it up a little bit more. All right, halfway, that should be the halfway mark. Double check one last time, boom. So that is my width, one of these. So I take that, turn it however where I want this thing to be. Pretty central, pretty centered. So we'll draw a little mark there. Boom, there's my width. So I got the width compared to the height, although that's not the whole height of it, that's just the height without the little dome thing on top. So, cool. Um, so now I can kind of figure out the rest of this. What pencil do you use? This is an HB pencil. Uh, don't worry about the brand, as long as it's just an HB, good to go. I'm going to be using ink. Uh, that's why I'm not really too worried about what pencil I'm using. All right, somebody from Canada. Sweet. Um, how's it going, Henrique? Nice to see you back again. Always good to see you. Somebody says they're amazed by my talent. Thanks, I appreciate it. But... Uh, 
I don't think I have any talent. I think I have a lot of hard work I've put into this. Maybe a little like 5% of talent or something. But uh, it's hard work. It's hard work that does the, you know, I've been drawn since I was real little. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of time put in. Um, how is it in Dhaka? How's it living there? I've watched some vlogs. I've watched a guy vlog in Dhaka before and uh, seems very, very densely populated. Pretty, pretty interesting. To me, it's very crazy looking because I'm just not used to, you know, that kind of, um, just a different place than from where I'm at. It's always interesting to see different, uh, for me, it's always interesting to see different places. Give me one second here, folks. I'm just gonna double check, double check my measurements. For some reason now it's not lining up as it was earlier. Ah, okay. I see why now. I measured it. I didn't measure incorrectly. I just forgot what I was measuring. So this is the edge that goes all the way up. And then there's a little bit that sticks out. Okay, cool. Halfway mark is actually... Yep, so there's a little tower thingy that comes right above that. Probably right there. So I'm just taking my time here with the measurements. I mean, I know I haven't drawn much, but I'm going pretty slow here. But I'm getting very important measurements down. Uh, it's going to help me. So I kind of got the rectangle shape of this thing. Now I'm trying to just, I'm figuring out, you know, Figuring out the rest of it now. And then the dome part that goes on top of this. Something like that. And there's a roof that comes down. And then the roof comes down on this side as well. What's, what is seven percent, oh, seven percent, <laughs> seven percent talent, yeah. <clears throat> okay, this is actually the bottom. Forgot to draw that part in there. It's kind of like a little platform or something that it's actually built on. Okay, cool, cool, we'll get this going. Nice little tree on this side. I like that, I like the trees in here. That's one thing I liked about this photo, it had some, has, it was a architectural building, but also had some trees as well. Some landscape elements, so kind of liked that, it was pretty cool. So we kind of get the best of both worlds here. So I'm just drawing the trunks in there. We can end up, we can figure this out later in a pin. So I'm just trying to get the overall main shape down, the idea. Just 
just the idea of these trees. I kind of don't like them being the same height, but it's kind of cool. It kind of frames the building a bit. I'll just keep it for now. All right, so we're looking pretty good here, I think. Draw this roof down. Slightly curved. I think it actually goes in a little bit more. But I don't wanna, I'm not gonna get too crazy detailed about this thing, obviously. I just like to sketch, have some fun, of course, like I always do. I always say the same stuff every time. But you guys keep coming back, so I'll just keep saying the same stuff. <laughs> How's everybody's weekend been going? How's everybody doing? What's happening? Anything going on? I've been, uh, a little bit today, I've been watching some crazy protests going on across the U.S. right now. Uh, in Philly, I was watching some live streams earlier. In Philly, uh, they flipped over some cop cars and were burning them. They burned some cop cars and SUV, uh, cop SUVs in L.A., downtown L.A. Uh, I think Minneapolis has been pretty crazy. They burnt down a police precinct there um, the other day and a bunch of other buildings so I've just been uh, I didn't really know about this stuff till yesterday actually <laughs> I've kind of been out of the loop for what's been going on but uh, I finally decided to go on Instagram and see my uh, social media and every you know it's just all these posts about you know I think most people know what's going on if you're in America for the most part um, I don't really like to talk about like politics or anything that much or kind of current events, but I don't really know what else is going on in my life. Nothing really happening, so not much going on anyway. Just focus on doing in, doing some work. But yeah, a lot, of, a lot of craziness happened right now in all the major cities across the U.S., protests every day in Oakland last night near me like an hour away a bunch of people went on the highway and were blocking traffic on the highway which is pretty nuts I don't know I don't I don't get that whole kind of protest of like going let's block the highway like what kind of protest is that like I don't get it but whatever I mean I guess that's somewhat effective of getting the news to cover it and getting the police involved so whatever floats their boat, I guess. I can't really criticize it too much because I'm not doing anything. All right, I think we can get into the ink stage here pretty soon. What do you guys think about this? Looks pretty cool, pretty good. Pretty cool looking church, I really love you know, different kind of architecture and stuff, seeing different architecture like this, it's very interesting. I'm not really sure what kind of church this is or where it's at. I think it said like Coloma Church, you know, I have no idea. This is just a stock photo, free stock photo that I found online. I was having trouble deciding what to draw today, so I just searched building online and uh, this was something that came up. and. Looked pretty cool. So if anybody knows what church this actually is or what kind of, uh, probably some kind of Christian church, I imagine, but other than that, I have no idea. <clears throat> yeah, somebody here near the Minneapolis area. It's been chaos for the last four nights. Yeah, I watched some live streams earlier, or recorded live streams from the past two days, two nights or whatever, whenever they burnt down a bunch of stuff. And it's crazy, dude, just a ton of people. Um, 
Somebody from Portland, Oregon. That's cool. Portland's pretty nice. Uh, I live about five hours from LA, five to six hours north of LA, but I live like hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes from San Francisco and like an hour from Oakland. Um, yeah, this, you know, art, that's what I try not to talk about world events and stuff because usually stuff that's on the news is just so negative and having this art is a very nice distraction for sure. So let's try to, it's kind of what I try to offer. So mine, I don't know, it seems a little wide for some reason, even though I measured this. Uh, let me see, let me see. Let's double check, double check. Yeah, maybe I made this a little too wide. Let's cut this down, let's cut it down a bit. Yeah, something just looks a little, a little off. Might have made the angle wrong, I think, here. Just slightly. Yep, thought so. I thought so. So it's supposed to go, yeah, right there. And then... All right, it's not a big deal anyway. There's a bunch of trees covering it. We'll just lighten that up. So we're gonna get into the ink here. This is the fun part, the ink. You know, I don't wanna mess with the, get too crazy with all my pen pencil work. <clears throat> Let's kinda knock some of that back. Oh yeah, SpaceX. I missed seeing the live stream of it launch. Uh, I saw it about an hour before they were taking off and I forgot to tune back in, but I saw afterwards and I saw some of the footage of it like being over Earth. Pretty cool, man. There's some cool stuff going on in the world, that's for sure. People launching into space and stuff. It's pretty scary. Pretty scary stuff, man. Um... Yeah, I think LA, they issued earlier, I think LA has a curfew starting at 8 p.m. So I'm definitely gonna be, might tune into some live streams around 8 p.m. and see uh, see what chaos is happening. Cause you know people aren't gonna listen to the curfew. You know, there's gonna be some craziness happening for at least an hour or something. Glad I'm privileged enough to be able to experience the chaos from my comfort of my own apartment and just watch it. <laughs> it's so crazy. You can just tune in and watch a bunch of different live streams online. It's so crazy. And what a weird time we live in. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it's funny how, you know, it's just, it's entertaining in some way, but sad in another way. But it's just, uh, you know, very interesting times, man. Looks like there's some little thing over here on the ground. I'm gonna add that in there. That's important, of course. Uh, <clears throat> you should draw the SpaceX Dragon capsule. Oh, that would be cool, actually, drawing. I never even thought about that. Might have to do that on the next uh, drawing live stream. Your sketch already looks great. I stumbled across your channel a couple of weeks ago, finding your how to sketch, blah, blah, blah. I learned how to draw a sphere. Cool, sounds good, appreciate it. Hope everything's going well. All right, let's get some ink in here, man. Let's do this. So I'm gonna keep this pretty sketchy like I always do. I always try to keep keep things pretty loose. Loose and fun. Okay. Yeah, I don't like how I did the roof there. 
but uh, too late now, it's already inked. I don't like that the point is the same exact line as the other angle of the roof, but uh, it's okay, it's not a huge deal. It's just a little annoying. Usually you want to avoid tangents like that. Usually you either want an overlapping or, you know, underneath or overlapping. And I, I thought about that while I was drawing it and then, yeah, just forgot. Oh well. That's how you learn. Make mistakes. Try to figure it out next time. What more can I do? All right, let's zoom in a little bit. Give you guys some close-ups, I guess. It's always fun. So you can see I'm trying to be just really direct with my line work. Not worrying about it being super perfect or anything. Because um, there's no such thing as perfect anyway, so. At least for humans. Yeah, it always happens with protests. There's people that, you know, it starts out as a peaceful protest and then, you know, you have a select few that either they're undercover cops that start rioting or it's just angry people that just have different motives or there's people that want to loot, you know, it just, it always gets crazy, but oh well. I guess no matter what kind of gets the message across that people are angry. And people have been cooped up for so many months now, it's kind of like this is kind of breaking everybody outside. We'll see if the COVID number of COVID things increase or not after this, or if we've kind of just been inside all these months for maybe uh Close to no reason. Probably not no reason, but I'm just ready for things to get back to normal. All right, this is looking pretty cool, pretty cool. Not so bad here in Jamaica. Nothing crazy happening that's beyond the norm. Well, that's good. I mean, it's kind of like, I mean, you're in the, Jamaica's in the tropics, you know? I mean, I don't know. Uh, it seems like it'd be pretty nice there. <laughs> I know I wouldn't be doing anything crazy there. I'd just be chilling, man. But I'm sure there's more to Jamaica than what I think of it. Well, he said the protests are justified, not that the riots are justified. So, there's a difference there between violent riots and protests. Not that it really matters, but. Cubs win, what's going on? Yeah, I was gone for a while. I had COVID for a few, no, I'm kidding. I didn't have it. Um, yeah, I, I was kind of just taking a break, like, um, I kind of had to get, uh, I kind of got burnt out in a way. And I kind of just had to chill out for a little bit, focus on other things in my life. And, um, you know, just get back to it when I felt like I was, had enough energy to get back into doing it. I did a live stream last night. If you guys missed out on that one, it was a pretty good one, pretty cool painting. Uh, I used only two colors. 
watercolor painting and it turned out really cool looking. Um, I'm really happy with the final result. If you go to my community page on my YouTube channel, if you go to my channel page and then the community tab, I, po I, I posted, or if you just check YouTube on your phone, you can see I, I made a post of, uh, I posted my latest painting from the latest live stream. So you guys can check that out if you're interested in seeing it. I also posted it on my Instagram today as well and my Facebook. So anywhere on my social media, you'll be able to see my most recent uh, piece from my live stream, most recent live stream. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to my best to stay a little more consistent. Maybe like three times a week. You know, I don't want to do overdo too much. If I do it every day, it kind of gets too crazy. Since this isn't my full time job yet. Oh man, what am I doing? I'm zoomed in too much. I wasn't even paying attention. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Too focused on the drawing and forgot to um, forgot to move the camera or move my sketchbook. Apologize, sorry about that. Happens from time to time. Forgot what I was saying, but anyway, yeah, I try to try to go like three days a week live streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday or something, I don't know. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I don't know. <clears throat> or I just, you know, I'll just do three days that feels right to me at the time. All right, starting to get some lighting going here. Looks pretty cool. <clears throat> Many COVID cases in your area, Brandon? Uh, no, not that I know of. There was only 10, there was only 10, uh, from what I've heard, our county was actually, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, California was, uh, our governor had some, some sort of criteria where they were going to extend uh, this shutdown for like... <clears throat> for like a few more weeks and my county was actually going to pursue legal <laughs> some kind of legal uh you know basically trying to sue them for because uh our county feels like you know we're done with this we only had 10 there was only our county is like over 120,000 people maybe even more, way more than that and we only had 10 people in the hospital uh from the COVID thing. And uh, if they were, if he was gonna extend this lockdown anymore, uh, we would have to be, our county would have to be a part of that. And we were kind of, uh, everyone was very, very upset about that as you can imagine. So yeah, not too many cases where I'm at. There was actually one case in my apartment complex uh, a few weeks ago. They kind of notified me and said, one person in your complex has it. We can't tell you who who has it, uh, obviously, for personal, you know, private reasons, privacy reasons. But they were just letting us know that somebody has it, but they're being self-quarantined. But, yeah, everything's been fine. It hasn't been. I haven't had any issues, so... Thanks for the $10, Andre. Greatly appreciate it, man. Positive vibes in the chat. Yeah, exactly, man. That's what we need. Positivity, peace and positivity. Now, nah, guys, don't worry about me. I'm all good. I'm all good. Sometimes I, I sometimes that happens, man. I, I kind of disappear for a week or two and or longer, you know. Sometimes I just need a break. <clears throat> Yeah, I've been working from home for three months too, man. It's it's awesome. I love working from home. <clears throat> C 
seeing you drawing a church, I was curious to know if you believe in something. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there's some kind of force or God or something out there. I mean, I don't think it's like a person as most, uh, you know, but yeah, I don't really talk about it that much because, you know, it's kind of like politics, just something you don't really, don't really talk about that often really, but yeah, there's some kind of good force out there, you know, for sure. The chat is definitely more uh, more alive tonight than it was last night, that's for sure. It seems kind of dead last night, unfortunately. But it's all good. It was my first one getting back. Getting back to normal a bit. Oh, man, sorry to hear that, Cubs win. Sorry to hear about your job. That sucks, man. Yeah, don't worry about my paintings, man. They'll... And they'll probably still be here. Don't worry. <laughs> They're not going anywhere, <laughs> unfortunately. But man, sorry to hear about your job. I hope you hope you either get it back or find something else, man. That's that's a bummer. That is not not good. Yeah, I'm very very grateful that. I'm able to work from home, keep my job, and still get paid, you know. There's a lot of a lot of people that aren't that lucky, you know. So definitely very grateful. Gotta stay gotta stay grateful. Do you usually start the live streams? Right? Yes, I do. Yeah, usually during the weekday, I get off work like 5 o'clock, and I start the live stream like 5.10 p.m. or 5.15, 5.20, something. It depends on the day and how I'm feeling, what's going on. But yeah, usually 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh... Yeah, it's good to hear Cubs win. That's the thing, man. Just have faith, you know. Just stay positive and thing, things always work out, man. That's what I've always realized is no matter how bad things seem in the moment, you know, something, things, things always work out, you know. When I was uh, actually about 15 years ago now, almost 15 years ago, I lost my house in Hurricane Katrina. When I was 15 and uh, yeah that was kind of pretty depressing to me I had to move to a new state new school never had done that before lost everything I ever owned you know it was just it wasn't a great time in my life but in the end it's one of the best things that ever happened to me actually to be honest because I, I can't even picture my life staying <laughs> okay my cat just jumped on the table here I can't even imagine my life staying where I was at that time, like where I'd grown up. I can't imagine, like, it just doesn't make any sense. So in a way, I'm, I'm kind of glad. In the end, I'm glad that that happened and I went through that, even though it sucked in the moment. So, yeah, hopefully things just work out, you know. Hope, hope for the best. And just try to stay stay positive through it all, you know. Okay, cool. We're getting some light going here, man. This looks really nice, I think. <clears throat> K 
Can you talk about the difference between cold and hot pressed watercolor paper? I can, if you want me to. <laughs> I think you want me to. Um, yeah, hot press, you know, I don't really know the, the very, very technical aspects of it, like what is hot press and what is cold press. I don't really understand that. I probably read it a few years ago and I just don't remember. But cold press has more texture to it. Hot press is much smoother. Hot press is very, very smooth. Cold press has more of a tooth surface to it. So, hope that helps. I mean, that's really the basics. Of it. That's all you really need to know. <clears throat> yep, we can see your comments. One, two, three, rock fam, what's going on? So knowing how to draw comes in handy when I'm making the storyboards. That's cool, man. I'm glad you're making the short films and stuff. Sounds pretty cool. Sounds like a lot of fun. All right, this is looking pretty good, I think. I think the dome, does the dome need to be darker? Yeah, it does. It does need to be a little darker, huh? Just a little bit. Just a little bit, there we go, cool, cool. Got this going. All right, nice. Made that line in the middle a little too dark, that's okay. All right, let's zoom in here again. Just gotta add some shadow on the front of this and then that's pretty much good. And then we'll just fill in some of the trees here, call it a night, relax, hang out. Do what you guys do. Won't take up any more of your time here soon. But I appreciate everybody tuning in, man. You could be anywhere in the world right now, but here you are. So I always greatly appreciate your support. Hanging out with me and Kitty here on my lap. My little buddy. <laughs> my little drawing buddy. Actually, I'm probably going to add some uh, some white ink on the light area of this church to make it really pop. Boom. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. That's the grand finale, though. That's the icing on the cake, so to speak, towards the end. Okay, back here needs to be a little bit darker. It's darker. Okay, cool, cool. Um, and we got a lively chat here tonight. Cool. Is someone possessed? I have no idea. Um, England? Yeah, this might be England, actually. I'm not 100% sure. Um, the name of the photo was Coloma Church. I think that's how you say it, Coloma? I'm not sure where that is. It definitely looks like Europe somewhere, probably. But I have no idea, this is a stock photo. So I'm not 100% sure. Um, Hope somebody's typing in caps. You better watch out. <laughs> Hi from Scotland. Do you use a variety of pens for this? Broader, broader to the fore, finer to the rear. Ah, um, no, I'm I'm not. At this particular in, in this particular drawing, I'm not. Um, I do have different size pens, but 
Normally if I want a thicker line, I'll just kind of kind of thicken it up with uh, I'm using an 05 five millimeter, I guess. So that's kind of my favorite size, but I don't normally mix up too many different pen sizes when I'm drawing. I tend, I tend to think it looks a little weird personally when I do that. So I kind of like having more control. So if I want like a, a thicker line in some area, I can thicken it up like that um, on my own. But it's not a bad thing to do. Like if that's something you want to do, then go for it. You know, it's just not something that I personally do. But it doesn't mean that it's wrong or anything like that. Of course, I would never say that. All right, let's get these trees in here. I think the church looks pretty cool. I'll bring in some of the light back here in the front of this smaller part. Um, a little bit later. So now I can be a little freer with the lines. These trees. Hi from Miami. Dude, do you have any video that shows how to draw hair, please? No, I do not actually. But just go on just go on YouTube. There's some good videos out there on how to draw hair. If you think about it in clumps rather than just, you know, a bunch of little strands, it's the best way to think about it. You got to think about it in, in terms of large clumps. <clears throat> I've been realizing last few weeks, um, you know, I was, I was beginning, I've started writing a book about trees and how to draw them. And, uh, you know, when I started writing the book, I started planning out the outline and everything started really thinking about trees and how to draw them and how to visualize them. And there is a lot to it actually. Um, and I've, I downloaded a few other books on how to draw trees and none of them talk about any of the stuff I was, that I had kind of realized on my own just by observing. So um, yeah, hopefully sometime this year I can have a nice, uh, some kind of PDF ebook or something on how to draw trees. Maybe add something about painting and painting them as well. But once you figure out how to draw them, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, this is just very sketchy look of trees and stuff. But uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot more to drawing trees from what I've, because most people draw them very flat looking. Like they're like a, they're a flat thing like this like a like a fan, like the the branches only go out to the sides or up. But a tree is more like this. It's more of like a three dimensional globe. So you have branches going all different ways. Yeah, there's there's a lot to it. Um. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look like a UK church actually. You know, it looks like some kind of Eastern European type of church. That's what I thought it was. Uh to be honest, when I first saw it, I'm not 100% sure. But it definitely looks Eastern European with just with the dome and everything. Usually you don't really see that in England from what I've what I know. Um Can I draw a lion next? Yeah, possibly. Um I've drawn a line in the past, but uh, it was kind of a failure. So I can I can give it a sh another shot for sure. Rock fan, thanks for the 199. Greatly appreciated. Do you have a favorite animation style? 
Oh man, that's interesting. That's an interesting question. You know, I don't, I don't really, um, uh, you know, I'm not too interested in animation to be honest. Um, what are, what are, get, what are your, uh, what's some animation styles actually? <laughs> you know, I'm thinking of like, you know, Pixar movies and stuff. They're more like the 3d types of movies. I kind of like the old school hand-drawn Disney movies and stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm a fan of all the animation and stuff. It's definitely really cool. You know, when I was a kid, I wanted to be, I wanted to grow up when I, wanted to grow up, I wanted to be an animated animator. I wanted to be like a Disney animator. Like one that actually like hand drew stuff, but we kind of see how that turned out. <laughs> I don't really do that as much anymore. All right, so I'm just trying to add a little more variety here to some of the trees, make it a little more lively. Looking compared to the building, you know, these trees are should be a little more lively with the strokes and everything. Some more flowing lines in here. Okay. Stop motion. Oh yeah, stop motion is really cool. Yeah. You know, I, The Iron Giant, yeah. I haven't watched that movie that much. I remember seeing it as a kid, maybe once or twice. But yeah, that one does look pretty interesting, I think. It's hard for me to think of what it looks like right now, but it uh, that one does have a different look to it, for sure. I wonder who, what company made The Iron Giant? I don't even know. It's one of those movies, it's kind of like... Um, what other movies? It's just one of those movies that's kind of, it just seems like it's independent almost. Like it kind of lives on its own, so to speak. You know, there's no other. Nothing else kind of like it in a way. You know, like Disney, like they're kind of all the same thing. They have the same structure, same type of thing. But Iron Giant, it's like, it's one of those things kind of like lives just has its own kind of legacy, so to speak, or something. I'm not really sure what I'm trying to say, but. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. So this tree is gonna be a little different because there's leaves on this tree. So I'm just trying to think in terms of clumps kind of as I, as I drew it in the very beginning. So I'm just thinking of it in terms of big giant clumps of, of leaves. And keep it kind of sketchy, it looks pretty cool. I think anyway, looks cool to me. We'll add some dots, it's always cool to have like Dots, some kind of short strokes, just kind of brings it a little more life. Like it has a little bit of movement or motion to it or just something. And the trunk is pretty dark. This side's a bit darker, it's a little bit of darker leaves and stuff. I think I'm gonna leave the light of the tree, the tone of the paper. We'll just darken some of the shadowing here. Doing my typical vertical stroke method, just focusing on value. Pretty happy with that. Let's get rid of some of these pencil lines. 
Normally I don't really do that, but it's okay. Let's do it this time. So that's where we're at. I think, uh, yeah, maybe I have to darken this tree all, all of it. Just a little bit. Just add a little bit of tone to the leaves. That'll separate it from the background. I think what's more important is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the background, the tone of the paper. And that, that tree is a lot darker in many ways compared to the background. Okay. All right, tree's not that important anyway. I can always, I can go back to that tree if I need to. But for now, I'm gonna add the white in because this is what's really gonna make it pop. This is what's really gonna make it pop. Oh, Warner Bros made it, okay, wow. Did not think of it about that. Very interesting. So yeah, we're now we're gonna add some light on here. This is what's gonna make it pop because it's gonna give it that third, third to kind of fourth value in this drawing. Because if you think about it, we have a dark shadow and then we have a shadow and then we have the tone of the paper and then maybe we have like a lighter shadow. So there's like three values already and then boom, we're adding a fourth and then possibly a fifth if I space out some of the light areas uh, in some places so that it's more of a mid-tone light rather than a super bright light. I'm gonna add some light on this front. Can zoom this in a bit. So there's a bunch of like dappled light on the front of this building because of the <clears throat> the tree is casting that shadow. Let's see, I might need some light, very little. There we go, just to show that that's being lit up, that roof. Yeah, this is my favorite part every time. This is my, always my favorite part. It's just always make the sketches look so cool. This might be semantics, but would you consider this an illustration? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it kind of is. I mean, it's a form of illustration, I guess. I just see it as a sketch. You know, I, I don't really get too much into the semantics of what it actually is. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of, it is somewhat illustrating, uh, you know, a place. It depends on what you call illustration, you know. Because there's a difference between paintings, if you think of in the sense of a painting, there's a difference between an illustrator and a painter. And I think I'm more of a painter. When I was in college, actually when I was going to college, I actually wanted to be an illustrator and then I ended up being a painter. I think an illustrate I think an illustration actually would probably be more of something that tells a story. At least that's how I see it. I think it would be something that tells a story that's more um, it's more obvious that it's that's what its purpose is. Its purpose is that it's narr you know it's it's telling some kind of story. With this Obviously, anything can tell a story. I mean, this is telling the story of this one day at this one spot. But there's no narr there's no narrative to it, I guess. There's no there's no person in here, there's no dragon in the background or there's just nothing happening to where it's an actual story, if that makes sense, you know. There's no narrative. It's just a place. It's kind of just a background. This would be a background in you know, some kind of scene or something. Let's draw some light on the ground, just, why not? We'll 
we'll space out some of the light down here. Because it's kind of half in light, half in shadow. It's kind of like a mid-tone. It's barely catching some, some side light there. Raking light down there. So we'll just show that. I'm not a big fan of this dappled light that I did, but that's all right. Not a big deal. Um, hmm, did I miss anything? Is that it? Is that it? Maybe a little light on the tree there. Okay. A little bit of light on this tree, just sporadically. Okay, cool. Yeah, this looks pretty, pretty cool. I'm kind of, I'm pretty happy with this, I think. Where did I get my white gel pen? Boom. See the link there? All good. Yeah, I mean, an illustration doesn't have to be in a book, but you're right. Most illustrations are found in books. But an illustration can be something that you just it could be uh, a painting of something that tells an actual real story that's more of fantasy maybe or something uh, you know there at some point there's probably a line a blurred line between what's illustration and what's painting but there's there's clearly a separation in in the job you know when you're an illustrator you're you're not just a painter you're there to tell some kind of story so Yeah, the Amazon links, by the way, uh, for any of my materials and stuff. Um, basically, I get a commission from the sale. So let's say this is just theoretical. It's just to show you the amount that I get. So if you buy an item and it's a $100 item, I get around 3 to $4 of that purchase. And it's no additional cost to you. It just takes the cost away from Amazon. They kind of give me a little cut of it. So... If you buy something that's for like ten dollars, then I get like thirty or forty cents of that, or whatever the math would be on that. So it's just a little bit, but when I get a lot of people every month, or a little bit of people buying stuff, you know, I make like you know eighty to a hundred bucks a month from Amazon. Not a whole lot, but it does help support my channel. Gives me some uh, materials, you know, just helps me out overall. So greatly appreciated. And like I said, no additional cost to you, so it doesn't even. Uh, if you're already going to buy something on Amazon, all you have to do is click one of my links and buy something within the next 40, or, uh, 24 hours, and I get a commission from whatever you purchase. If you buy cereal on there, if you buy a mountain bike, if you buy furniture, um, then I get a cut from that. That's actually happened to me before, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, I've had people that buy art supplies, but then they also bought like a mountain bike that was like 120 bucks, or they bought like some furniture. And uh, yeah, I got a I got a little cut from that, so it was uh, really cool, and definitely helps support what I'm doing here. It gives me the motivation to keep making these videos, keep you know, keep buying pens and stuff, so I can <laughs> create these videos. Um, so yeah, definitely greatly appreciate all the support. So if you can't like buy one of my pieces of art or something like that, you know, that's a way to support me is if you ever buy anything on Amazon, just click one of my links first and then buy all your stuff. Um, and that's just a very simple, easy way to support me that literally doesn't even cost you anything uh, to support me, which is really cool. Very similar to watching these videos, you know, it doesn't really cost you anything, just a little bit of your time. and watching uh, some of the ads or whatever every now and then. I feel like I need just a little bit of value in the background. I mean, what do you guys think? Do I need like just some lines in the background or like, I don't know if they should be dark or if they should be light. Maybe it should be light. I don't know. I don't want to add light around here in the sky or anything, but if I just had, Something in the background to just give it a little more depth. 
Maybe dark? Maybe dark? Uh, usually my Amazon links are in the in my description or they're in the chat if you see like uh, Just an Amazon link It'll be like a link that's like, you know AZ AMZ or something like that But uh, you just click on that link basically and buy something All right, let's just add a little bit of value back here. I'm not really sure I'm you know, this is I always try to experiment a little bit Just a little bit of depth, maybe. I don't know. I don't. I have no idea if this is working, but We're trying it. We're trying it. I always take the risk, you know. I always take the risk. Because usually you learn a lesson if it fails, and usually it turns out better if it's something that you know if it makes the work a little bit better. Yeah, it added a little bit of depth. Probably not much you guys can see there, but it did help a little bit. All right, so before I end this stream, I did want to mention uh, other ways to support my work. If you go to my website, I have some drawings from other live streams available on there. And I also have some uh, watercolors for sale as well. And uh, you can find all this at SchaeferFineArt.com. That's my website. Link in the description, as always. And uh, all the drawings and watercolors on there are uh, $65 US. So that's one way to support my work. If that if you feel like you want to do that, then that's good. If not, it's all good. Don't worry about it. But... All these drawings and things I do, I put them up on my website for sale. This one will probably be one of them as well. So uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about this one? I feel like the tree needs to be darker overall, but I don't know if it's worth uh, messing with any further. Can you do a portrait next time? Yeah, you know, I need to, I need to do a portrait. I really need to do a portrait. Um, definitely need to do a portrait. Sky is very light. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to add the sky in because the building's white. So if I add white in there, it's going to blend into the sky. I don't want to do that. So I want to keep this. You know, I could do. Yeah, you know, I could space it out more, like white lines, and space it out. Maybe that's what I need to do. I don't know. Um, is that your cat that you painted? Yes, it is my cat. That is my cat. That was her last year on her 14th birthday. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, yeah, I don't know if I, I hit, hit, the, hit the, you know, a little bit of the sky in there, space it out a little bit, or just leave it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of like it how it is. I kind of like it how it is. I don't want to overdo it. Maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I'll leave it as it is. We'll add some little bit of light on the ground here. Come on. My cat's name is Kitty. My cat's name is Kitty, believe it or not. Um, yeah, you know, just keep it simple, man. Kitty. You know? All right, leave it. Everybody says leave it. So, cool. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to get off here. I'm going to eat some dinner. Enjoy the rest of my night. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know. But if not, uh, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, check out my other... Uh, Drawings and things for sale on my website. Greatly appreciate it. Got some nice watercolors on there. Some of them are sold out already. So, uh, yeah, the watercolors tend to sell. So check it out at shaverfineart.com. 
Uh, greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. We'll be doing a watercolor next time, next live stream. Maybe tomorrow or the next day. So anyway, take care of yourself. Peace, my friends. Stay safe. Stay healthy.